In this video, we will introduce field planning and task execution in root mode. This mode helps reduce the work of the operator and the planned field can be permanently saved, making it convenient for future use. This mode is applicable to operations over large fields with a moderate number of obstacles and minor terrain undulations. In root mode, field planning beforehand is required. There are three methods of field planning, crosshair on the map, add point with controller, and add point with aircraft. If you select crosshair, we recommend that you use it together with the HD map generated upon mapping. Here, we will focus on add point with controller and add point with aircraft. If you select add point with controller, the location of the remote controller is used as a reference point. If you select add point with aircraft, the drone location is used as a reference point. If you select add point with controller, you can further choose to use RTK positioning or satellite positioning. RTK positioning requires an RTK dongle, offering high planning precision. Satellite positioning, on the other hand, uses the satellite positioning system built in the remote controller with relatively lower precision. We recommend that you use RTK positioning. Next, we will take RTK positioning as an example to introduce the procedure. The procedure for connecting the RTK dongle is as follows. Insert the extension bracket, tighten the fixing bolts, and then insert the RTK dongle. To plan a field on the remote controller by using a custom network RTK, you need to connect the remote controller to the internet, but the Agra's drone does not need to be powered on. Tap Begin. Tap Operation Mode switch in the upper left corner, and then select Root. Tap the Settings icon in the upper right corner to enter the RTK Settings interface and select Custom Network RTK for RTK Signal Source. Enter the login information of the Custom Network RTK and tap OK. After the connection is complete, tap to return. Select Field on the right side as the task type. Tap Add and select Add Point with Controller. Take note that the number of RTK satellites will be displayed if you use RTK positioning. If no RTK dongle is inserted, satellite positioning will be used. After a sufficient number of satellites are searched and the background turns green, you can start field planning. Walk along the field boundary with the remote controller in hand for measurement. At each turning point of the field boundary, tap Add on the screen. If an incorrect boundary point is added, you can tap the boundary point and drag it to the correct position. You can also double tap the point to delete it and add another one. Take note that boundary points must be added in order without crossing. Otherwise, the flight route cannot be generated. If there are obstacles, select obstacle point as the point type and then measure along the obstacle boundaries. If you encounter round obstacles like power poles, select round as the point type, tap the center of the circle that appears, and then tap add to add a round obstacle with a default radius of 1.5 meters. You can drag the boundary points of the obstacle to adjust its radius, drag the center of the circle to adjust its position, and double tap the center to delete the obstacle. After the obstacles are measured, Select Fields as the point type to proceed with the field planning. If there are non-operational areas within the planned field, select Non-Spraying Area to plan non-operational areas. The drone will fly through these areas without spraying or spreading. After the planning is complete, tap Save, name the field, and then tap Save again to complete the field planning. If the field is regular with only a few obstacles and the operator is experienced in manual operations, add point with aircraft is a good choice for its higher planning efficiency and less work. Tap Begin. Tap Operation Mode switch in the upper left corner and then select Route. Select Field on the right side as the task type, tap Add, and select Add Point with Aircraft. After the drone status bar turns green, Operate the Agra's drone manually to measure the farmland. It is recommended that you operate the Agra's drone to fly at a height of 3 to 5 meters and observe obstacles ahead via the FPV view. 
When the drone is near a target point, use the dial to adjust the FPV camera angle. When the drone is right above the target point, tap Add. For large obstacles, you can operate the drone to plan the obstacle boundary points, thereby ensuring flight safety. After field planning is completed, land the Agra's drone. Tap Use, enter the application rate on the left side. For tall crops in windless conditions, you can select a droplet diameter of less than 200 micrometers. If you are applying herbicides, it is generally recommended to select a droplet diameter of more than 200 micrometers, which can prevent the herbicides from drifting. Set the flight speed and the height relative to the crops according to the actual situation. If there are obstacles between the takeoff point and the start point of the flight route, you can add multiple connection points in between. You can drag a connection point to change its position and double tap it to delete it. Take note that the connection points will become invalid if an obstacle avoidance action is triggered during the flight. If there are obstacles between the takeoff point and the field, add obstacles to the field for subsequent operations. Tap Start. In the pre-task auto check window that is displayed, check the settings such as connection routing and RTH speed and connection routing and RTH altitude. If all settings are correct, slide right or press and hold the R3 button to start the task. The drone will automatically take off and start to perform the task. If the surroundings of the takeoff point are complex, we recommend that you manually control the Agra's drone to fly to the start point of the flight route before starting the task. In route mode, you can also use a return point to bypass the obstacles encountered. When the liquid pesticide is used up or the battery is low, the remote controller will prompt with voice and pop-up notifications. In this case, control the drone to return to the takeoff point for refill or battery change. Then, tap Resume to proceed with the task. When the task is completed, tap End and check the task area, time, and spraying amount in the task summary. If the task is not finished, you can select the unfinished task in the field list and resume the task next time.